so so far in this inventory system that we were working on uh, it's just automatically in Ambers. I mean we really haven't connected with this the player character or when we press some button uh, we should make it show up and also it should show the weapons that actually the player character is holding but we haven't implemented any of those things yet so um let's open the blueprint and as the first step uh for connecting the inventory with the character so here we have what we have is some preset weapons not exactly the weapons play solely and also here we are using just the measures not exactly gun blueprints so what i want to do is determine what guns the player is holding and then maybe instead of showing the measures we should show the blueprint itself because if we ever implement the gun customization system we should need the gun blueprint here instead of just the mesh as we have to replicate the changes play have done in the interface uh, in the inventory ui also all right so first let's test uh, let's first replace this with blueprints so hmm. okay so let's go to the gun and let's select all the guns that is available for the player long go is something i only tested i'm not planning to include in the actual game so these are the guns right let's drag and drop them under gun root and delete these references and also delete those meshes from here and all these child blueprints of guns should go under gun root okay right now mm, by default actually all of them should be invisible right and all of these should be connected here to when we need to activate one of the guns so ak here revolver here m82 what is m82 Leave that for now. M16, Glock, Flamethrower, Crossbow, RPG, Machine Gun, Revolver ready to die connect. Yeah, 
Retrieval was reconnected. Mm. M1870 MP5 Mossberg Oh, I made it with actually the sniper. We'll see. Longbow and binocular is not connected because actually they are not weapons. So I don't think I need to show the binocular in the inventory. If I need, I can always come back and add it here. All right. Now let's see what, how it looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, AK sniper. Okay, pistol and pistol is not visible for some reason. Let's find out. I think it's out of the view so anyway when we show some weapon in the inventory so here you see for example this is a bit rotated that's because we had to add some local offset to make the gun properly aligned with the hand or when the gun is in the back but uh, when the gun is in the inventory we don't need that it should be straight and properly centered so to do that what can we do if I open the gun here so Default scene root is like this. Gun mesh is here. So AK seems correct. No, not really. Actually, it should be over here. The, it should be centered here. Okay, so let's go to the parent of the gun and throw this PPI gun. I'll add a function recenter mesh function. Okay. Now in the BP gun, let's implement it. Recenter mesh. Right. Now, how do we find the uh... okay? Now, let's see. In order to properly center the gun, it should be moved like this, and in the front, oh, it seems fine the way it looks and copy the location of the mesh and go back to perspective mode and undo that change we just did because we don't need to keep it and uh, let's add a another transform just like this let's name it Centered transform. Okay. Compile as the default value. I copied the value, so paste it. Right. Now, when we center the gun, what we need to do is get the mesh. 
set transform actually it's a uh, relative transform and use the center transform okay now uh, here when we show a particular gun we need to present the mesh okay but still this we have to set the proper values because see this is not still set correctly so we need to set the proper values yeah okay so we have to go through all the weapons let me close them all and start with okay okay Copy the value and undo. And here, paste the value of center transform. Similarly, crossbow. Wait, uh, let's quickly set the value for mh2 and see if it is working correctly so that we can verify the system is working Okay, copy. Alright. No. Paste the center transfer. select them all right it does have rotation how come it have a rotation here but no offset Let's go back here. Select all the guns. They should 
not have any rotation. All right, and if I select the sniper and move up, okay, it has a pretty big offset. Uh, let me quickly apply that local offset we added. here and test copy okay it's centered here uh, okay. all right but here nothing has changed okay let me undo this compile so actually this should be moved more sorry we should check it in here Oh, it seems fine actually. Yeah. Oh, we made a mistake. Here, recenter should be called on the child blueprint. So get child actor. No. What's the, this is scene component okay but this actually needs to be a child actor component so that's a problem mm -hmm. right so let's do a select to uh, select like this and from this we can get child actor so here the target should be a child actor component right now if I connect it like this now this output becomes a child actor component now this function will work correctly but we need to reconnect this again Sixteen clock and throw a crossbow AK RPG machine gun revolver Oh, I haven't really used M9111. Alright, not a problem. Oh, see, I missed it again. Okay. Now let's see. Oh. We got an error. Yeah. Recent mesh. And this one also should work, so we can read this. Uh, hold on. Let's first test this.
right now it's properly centered and this cube is actually something I added for testing let me remove it this one just to see where the pivot is okay pistol is still not visible for some reason wait hold on maybe we are using MI911 in the widget then I haven't I don't have that let's see clock I do have the Glock so why it doesn't become visible ah sorry we didn't set the offset oh wait mesh is missing what happened to the clock mesh somehow it has been removed from the project all right so uh, i will look into that offline let's change to revolver for now and well, well also I need to center I need to find the centering but it is working correctly so no need to reset uh, that okay now here we are using instead of the meshes we are using the actual blueprint so in the next step we can actually get what are the real guns that the player is holding at the moment and show them here instead of this preset guns so i'm gonna stop this episode right here thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode Bye bye